Hi there, Scott from Whitetailer again, and we're going to take a moment and explain probably the most common question we get asked, and it's how does this science of O3 actually work? So if you don't mind, I've got a very low-tech version here that hopefully can help us understand how this process works and destroys odors. Not mask them, not cover them up, absolutely eliminating these odors that you and I are most concerned about. So, let's assume that I've got an oxygen molecule here, O2, another O2, and a third O2. Over here we have two foreign odors. Let's say this is gasoline and let's say that is a pet odor. I know they're atomically not correct but we're just going to use this for this presentation's sake. Now in Mother Nature one of the most common ways that this occurs is through the use of electricity i.e. lightning. Lightning coming down, coming in contact with the oxygen and splitting off some of these O2 molecules into creation of an O3 and another one. So I now have two O3 molecules. The interesting part is this extra oxygen item, atom is very unstable and as it sinks through the atmosphere or through your gear bag or closet or truck wherever you're using this kind of O3 strategy it will detach itself and find an odor and molecularly change it and destroy that odor. So this is no longer a pet odor. And the same thing would happen with this gasoline. This negative ion, you would have the odd oxygen atom detach itself and reattach itself to that gasoline smell and it's gone. The cool part about this is at the end of the day, you end up right back where you started with in a very eco-friendly strategy. So I've got oxygen. I started with oxygen and I end with oxygen. What better way can you get? So anyway, I want to thank you very much for your time. Hope that is some value to you. I can't wait to see where this cool science is going, and we'll be talking to you soon. Have yourself a great day.